Hi there students, welcome back to Ardent MDS. The topic that we are going to see today is about the mechanical principles of a wire in a removable appliances. So today we are going to deal about what is the association between the strength, force and diameter and length of the wire. So we are going to discuss about what happens if I double or triple the diameter then what is the effect of that doubling the diameter on its force, strength and flexibility. Similarly, what happens if I alter the length of the wire and their consequence on the force, flexibility and the strength. So the relationship between the strength and stiffness and doubling the diameter is we have for a wire of any given cross section increase in diameter causes increase in strength up to three times. That means for any wire of any cross section, if you increase the diameter, then what happens? The increase in diameter causes increase in strength of that wire to the power of three times. So it increases in three times to its exponent power. Similarly, what happens if you increase the diameter, then what happens to springiness? The springiness reduces to four times. So basically here, the diameter is increasing diameter is directly proportional to the strength whereas it is inversely proportional to the springiness and the range also decreases up to its half. So basically if you increase the diameter the thickness of the wire increases and if you give the force with the thick and thin wire what happens the thick wire gives a maximum force then take a thick and thin wire see which is more springier so obviously the thinner wire will be more springier than the thicker wire. So, by increasing thickness or diameter of the wire, the springiness reduces to 4 times and range also reduces to half. So, this is the basic relationship between diameter, the strength and springiness. Now, we have the question here. What happens to the force levels if I double the diameter? And what happens to the force level if I double the length? So basically a wire will have a length and a width. So basically the formula that relates this combination is the force is the force level increases if you diameter if you double the diameter to the four times. That means the force level increases to four times if you double the diameter. Similarly, the force level decreases to 3 times if you alter the length. So for example, if I am increases diameter by 2 times. So what happens? The force level increases to 16 times because force is equal to diameter to the power of 4. So if I double the diameter, just substitute here. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So the force level increases up to 16 times if I double the diameter of the wire. Similarly, if I double the length, what happens? The force level decreases to 8 times because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So basically, the relationship between force, length and diameter is assuming if I am doubling the diameter, the force level increases to 16 times and if I double the length of the wire force level decreases to 8 times very important so just this formula has to be remembered so f is equal to d to the power 4 by l to the power 3 now so when I double the diameter of the wire the force level increases by 16 times when I double the length of the wire the force level decreases to 8 times similarly if the question they are asking what happens if you triple the diameter and triple the length. Just substitute 3 instead of 2 here. So 3 to the power 4 and 3 to the power 3. That is it. Basic mathematic calculation. Now we have the flexibility. We just discussed about the force levels. What is the effect on force if I alter the length and the diameter. Now what is the effect on flexibility of a wire if I alter the length and the thickness or the diameter. So here we have a formula. The flexibility is equal to L to the power 3 by D to the power 4. Just you know you have to alter, you have to 
vice versa the numerator and denominator when compared to a force so this is the formula for force d d to the power 4 is in numerator and l to the power 3 is in denominator whereas in case of flexibility l to the power 3 comes to numerator and d to the power 4 comes to denominator so just you have to vice versa the numerator and denominator in case of flexibility so what happens now if i double the length what happens flexibility increases up to eight times so if i increase the length or if i double the length if i double the length what happens the flexibility increases up to eight times if i increase the thickness if i double the diameter flexibility reduces up to 16 times basic mathematics is just you have to substitute what is the value of increasing either doubling or tripling to this formula so now we have discussed about the effect of doubling the length and diameter on force and flexibility so now we have a special segment called Arden flash which summarizes that we have discussed right now so a wire will have a length and diameter and assuming we are doubling the both so what happens if i double the diameter the strength increases to 8 times springiness decreases to 16 times range reduces by half and force increases by 16 times and what if i double the length the force decreases by 8 times and flexibility increases by 8 times so basically the flexibility is directly proportional to cube root of its length that's why if i double the length the flexibility increases up to 8 times so now we see here a couple of questions review questions what is the effect of doubling the diameter of a cantilever spring so all the options look alike so please go carefully remember the formula recollect the formula the flexibility of formula for flexibility formula for force so in case of force it's always you know that denominator numerator has to be remembered so it is always the strength increases by 8 times and springiness decreases by 16 times because the doubling the diameter is directly proportional to strength to the power 3 and springiness to the power 4 springiness is in the denominator so springiness is inversely proportional to doubling the diameter whereas strength is directly proportional to the diameter so if you increase the diameter strength increases if you increase the diameter springiness reduces that's why strength increases by 8 times and springiness decreases by 16 times so in such questions we should get to know how to eliminate the options so we know the formula here diameter is directly proportional to strength so increase in diameter strength has to increase so I eliminate the option where there is decreasing strength so basically strength decreases this is wrong and strength decreases this is also wrong now strength increases option is the right because doubling the diameter is proportional to increase in strength you just have to remember the value so strength to the power 3 so if you double 2 to the power 3 is 2 into 2 into 2 it is 8 so obviously this is also not the option so this is the right option so in such questions in order to save the time we should get to know how to eliminate the wrong answers and go for an right appropriate answer so next question flexibility so if we are going to see about flexibility the option is flexibility is directly proportional to cube of the length that's why if you double the length the flexibility increases up to eight times so how to answer such questions the one and only mantra is just to remember the formula for force and flexibility and in which case diameter comes in numerator and in which case diameter comes in denominator that's it so my dear friends i hope this short and crispy session about mechanical principle was very useful thank you